Hey, hey sunflowers, welcome, welcome back, back to the garden. garden. It's me, Mimi. What's up? It's me. And, and we're, we're back, back with another mother daughter duo. So today we're back to talk about how sons of Atlanta, the, the reunion. Push child was in love song. Slash not really. In the words of I forgot his name, y'all. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's Zoe. Oh, Zoe, it's a lot was going on, but honey, did y'all watch it? Whew. Mm -hmm. It's just, too, it was just too much. It was too much slash, not really. It was the same topic the whole reunion. The whole, that's why it was too much. Yeah. They was talking about the same thing. The same thing. The same person. Still the same person. It the same just, thing. When I tell you. Oh my God. Like. They even had a costume of Bolo there. Yeah. At this point, I'm over it now. Yeah. Like, seriously. That's too much. Mm -mm. They still trying to figure out if it's the truth about Bolo. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the But why? I don't Even if it is. Why do y'all care? Who cares is what I really want to know. Because I don't. And I'm sure if there are other people that don't. Like, what is the big deal here? It's like. annoying. As if. Yeah. At this point. They keep point. talking about it and it's like, wow. And they keep coming for Portia and they keep coming for Drew. Yeah, Look how you keep coming for Drew. Happening. Like. And this must be the storyline for the next season because I'm not understanding. Yeah. I that cannot. happened the whole entire part, part one and part two. That's what it was about. Portia. Which 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 I'm confused I'm still confused about because I don't even understand why are we still talking about Portia. No. Oh what? The preacher, the pastor, the minister. Oh the yeah, baptism that, that and Portia. Man. Why are that we talking about that? happened like the last three episodes. So yeah, he, I'm confused. So if it's something with. that y'all understand about it, can y'all please explain to me? Because I don't understand what him talking to Latoya have to do with the baptism of Drew Baby. That's the part I don't understand. The only thing you have to do is just not let him baptize the baby. Like, I don't yes, know. because she was saying it was supposed to be a lot of them, and all of them was supposed to bless the baby, but they started pulling out because he was there. Because I guess from what they were saying, he was married or something, and he's still messing with Latoya or engaged and still messing with Latoya. Something of that nature. So I guess that's why she was feeling like. But well, I feel just like she just had something him? on him. I feel like she just had something on Latoya, and since Latoya's been picking at her the whole season, the one thing that she did get on her, she told me. That's Which was not like really was. still against Latoya, because she was I mean, a single woman. Married, Everybody knows she's single. If you watch the YouTube thing, she's single now. She's not with her husband. She's going to a divorce. So it wasn't against her. It really was against him because she's single. She can pretty much do what she wanted mm -hmm. to do. So it really was. I guess it was because he's supposed to have been married, I'm assuming, or engaged. So I guess she was like, you messing with a married man or engaged man. Or whatever the case was, I don't know, child. I really don't. We really don't know the truth about that either because it's so choppy. Yes. Like, I don't and really then know. I'm, and then I'm, uh, it just was this. I don't really know. If you didn't watch it this season, please go back and watch it. Start from the, it was, you know, start it from like Bolo. This season was long. Yeah, but it, it just seemed like every season then became repetitive where everything was about the same thing. those two episodes was good. The Look. Bolo episode was yes. good and the one right after. Which, the whole show was good, but I'm saying those was made. I mean, that those yes. two episodes Can you keep coming for like, Portia? Well, now Marlo coming for Portia. And, and I'm just so confused just on... Everybody coming for Portia. Everybody kind of coming for Portia. They gonna keep coming for Portia because she did some more stuff, so... That's gonna be on next season. I must assume it's gonna be on next season. Yeah. Honestly, this is what I think. I don't like when somebody dry snitch. And what I call dry snitch is if you come to me and you ask me something and I laugh, or I say, Ooh, I ain't get it, you know, you dry snitch it. Mm -hmm. Cause you can simply say, Oh, I don't know. What like what are you talking about? I don't like I don't like see that's why I don't be liking all that. That's why I'm I don't even have a circle. Yeah. I don't even know if I gotta die. Mm -mm. Not a die. I'm serious. Because to me, it should not have been discussed. What went on when Bolo was there should not have been discussed, period. I wouldn't have discussed it. Unless Portia can cross somebody, 
and we don't know about it. It gotta be something because I don't. Want to I don't think it, it should have been. I don't think it. They want to know so bad. Yeah. Know, now they want her to admit it to the public because they know. Well, yeah, but they don't know. They know, but they don't have a fact. Mm. Candy probably know for. A I fact. can tell you a fact. I ain't, I ain't see it, but I can tell you a fact. You know for a fact. I'm saying they they. Well, yeah, I guess you, you, no, they eliminate yeah. everybody out, so I guess they do. If you, but, if you, if your, if my room right here, your room right there. But the only person who's going right there was Candy. That's so what I'm saying. No, no, no. But know. several people heard it and knew, and then like Marlo went to the bathroom. The only people that knew for a fact would be Candy, Marlo, and the people that was probably in the room. Candy, Marlo, and Kenya. Those are the only people that just know for a fact that it happened because they heard it. Everybody else was in their room asleep. So to those people, they really don't know. And they, I don't think all them people don't care. It seems like the only people That's that true. care are the ones that heard it. Why do y'all care? Y'all yeah. heard it. Yeah. The ones that didn't hear it, they don't care. <laughs> like I think that's when some when people really want to tell what you did. That yeah. Because I think it shouldn't have been brought up to nobody. I don't care if Portia said it. I would have just been like, unless Portia had crossed me in some type of way, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't have gave a damn. Wouldn't nobody knew. But if it was not like that and I was not in it, I would have simply said with a straight face. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That ain't none of my... I don't even want to get in it. Because Kenya's point is, is that, oh, if it would have been me, then it would have kept going, dragging on and all that. Well, if it would have been anybody, mm -hmm. it would have got dragged on unless it was their favorite. Like Candy, nobody yeah. would have dragged that on if it was Candy. Because Candy don't care. Yeah. And you can't tell nothing on her because I'm sure she probably would already talk to Todd about that. Yeah, nobody would have cared if it was Candy. But they pick and choose who they want to pick at because Kenya, she does the same thing that everybody else do. So I don't understand why she keeps using herself as an example. I don't know. I don't know why she keeps saying if it was me, y'all would talk about it. Yeah. Because she talk about it, everybody yeah. too. So. And I, I do that. think if they were going to talk about it, I don't think it should have been on camera. It should have been on camera. I don't think it should have been on camera because from one woman to the next, I'm not going to get on camera in front of hundreds of thousands, of mi millions and millions of people and bash you like that mm -hmm. unless you have bash me or done something to me. That's the only way I can see it and maybe Now if that was Candy that would have been the one trying to expose her, I could understand why yes. she probably would because that would be her paybacks for you know the stuff that happened in the fantasy. Yeah. But anybody else, I just don't Which understand. she blindly did that. She, she did. Yeah, she blindly did that. She trusted Phaedra and she thought that it was true. So if those of y'all that's not that may not be familiar I guess, with it, Portia Phaedra, who used to be on the show, told Portia that Candy was trying to rape her. And Portia repeated it, and it wasn't true. But she kept going on and on about it. And for you to be cool with Candy and know what happened that night and all that, why you didn't just go ask her? Why did you drag that along and be telling everybody, oh, and making jokes out of it and all of that? And uh, uh, Portia? I, yeah, I'm not understanding that. I don't understand that part. When I be going back looking at the clips, I be like, if you truly felt like somebody was trying to do that to you, why would you not take it serious? Because I think that she was cool with going there, but just for somebody to tell her that, so she just kind of brought. I don't think that she felt threatened at all. She I think she just repeated what said or that she was trying went to because, like Candy said, they kissed and she invited her back yeah. to the room. So I don't think Portia took it as it was a threat. I think she just wanted to repeat that. So, but that ain't something. Why do I live with you? Like that. <laughs> I, that ain't something to repeat. That's something too serious about somebody. So if yeah. I felt like that was the case and I knew we had kissed or whatever the case may have been. I would have asked her, uh, why did I hear You don't got to tell people where you heard it from. Just say what it is. If you want to ask somebody about it. I would have said, girl, who told you that? Yeah. That's what I would have said. That's what I'm saying. I would have so, said, because I didn't kiss her before. I didn't invite her back to the room. If the girl wanted to go there, she'd have went there. Who told you yeah, that? Yeah, like when it That's came out at the reunion, it was just like over dramatic, no tears. And I was yeah. understanding. And then she said, Phaedra told her out that Candy told her. And Phaedra talking about somebody else told her. And, like, and then, wait a minute, and then Portia was like, but, but Phaedra, you told, you told me. That she, she told showed you. you. It was something. And if you don't watch The Housewives, you confused at this yeah. point. If you I don't just, watch The Housewives of Atlanta, you are totally confused. I just don't Which means you need, it is somebody on TikTok that got all the snippets. And when oh, I yeah, tell y'all, it is hilarious. They got all the good snippets on there. It is hilarious. All the arguments. Everything. What do you think of Drew? You really need to. Do you think she's going to make it to the next season? Is it just. She might not be messy enough. That'd be the only reason why she wouldn't make it. But I like her. Okay, what about. What do you think of Latoya? She can leave off the show. She won't be really mean, I guess. I don't like bullies. That's my thing. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like bullies. Like, you came on the show bullying the girl the first episode. 
I think that's because she, she you made it a joke. She yeah. was like, "Oh, I don't like you," and then it was like, "Oh, because of the game." So it was like funny. I was like, "Okay, mm -hmm. cool," but she, she really husband. didn't like her for real. I think yeah, she, she couldn't come for nobody else because everybody else was OG, so she went for the newest one because she knew she, she if she came for one of them, she probably would never be back. But the only thing you can say about it, I feel like at that point, you need to let it go. When the only thing you can talk about on somebody is their hair or their makeup, you need something else to talk about. People don't be you having nothing to talk about. Bullying. Like, she's pretty. Yeah. You don't have anything else to say, so you're talking about her yeah. every episode. That's just too much. And then she then, came as soon as she came out on the reunion, she t attacked. Yeah, she did. Soon as and she walked she out there, ugly at all. she no. just was like, Oh, you finally look cute. Yes. But I'm like, Oh my god. Yes. But that's what people fail to realize. Stop. That everybody is not trying to impress people every time. Everybody, everybody some people are just they sell. Exactly. Yeah. Like but that's me. Like, I don't you know. care what you're wearing, we're going to wear. I don't care how hair, everybody else's hair is. I'm natural. The 99% of the time if I'm around somebody, they probably got uh, a sew in or something like that. I'm just me. I don't really care what nobody else got on or what they weren't. And mm -hmm. some people just, and I think that's true. She just came as she was. Like she didn't think, I guess, to. That she got to have on high heels and glam herself up and but be she's this. she's been doing this. Like, that's what I'm saying. To be uh, somebody and that she's not. She thought she was coming on the show just as her. Thought, that's what it's supposed that's to be. That's what I though. think. Real Housewives of Atlanta, real. Come on here as you are. Please don't fake for the TV. Just be who you are. But I feel like everybody do their own reality TV. I don't know if I'll make it. Yeah, some days I may have on some tennis shoes. And some days I may have on some tights. And some days I may be. I may. I don't know. Which is how they all are. They just want yeah. to talk about. I mean, I, I'm not going to say they. Because everybody wasn't coming for her. Yeah. But I feel like if you laugh at a joke that's being made. That's a little rude too. So I do. When Latoya made the joke and Kenya laughed. They automatically put her in there with the haters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because you could have said, girl, not today. Because yeah. you know me. I and, well, okay, but why is my friend going so hard on Portia? Uh, Marlo. Marlo. She is like, ugh, ugh. I mean, just, she coming for Isn't her. she just, realizing how she is? And she just and she don't, don't like it. Oh, okay. So she attacking. Or she just want to be on the next season again. And yeah. get a peach, maybe. Or she probably just want to be cool with Kenya and she can't yeah. be cool with both she can't balance I think it just be more to the story know, like outside the cameras when they do the edit and some stuff we must just miss because when I tell you Marlo coming for her yeah. she coming for Portia it's bad I don't understand. <laughs> in the daylight with a flashlight in the daytime with a flashlight yeah, she coming for her I don't understand at all she don't care she want to know I mean she just she want, they want her to admit it and I don't blame Portia I wouldn't I mean, she needs to because you were single when it happened. I wouldn't admit nothing that I don't want to. Well, admit. she don't have to, but I'm saying I would to take it away from them. And, but you got to keep in mind, and, do, Bo, do Bolo have a girl? Oh, well, that's that's true. See what I'm saying? Well, Bolo shouldn't have gone on TV. It don't. Like if he knew he had a girl. But, but Bolo ain't out talking. He not out talking. You don't get with saying. somebody and you know they got somebody and then out them. Let that, yeah, that I know that part. I'm just saying. But I'm saying in order for her to admit it, it means she jeopardized him. Oh, I guess so then. So you, so what she need to do is say it ain't no, I would, that's what people miss. She's not even saying nothing though. She, but that's another thing that people miss like, on. She just laughing, she don't care. Like, yeah, like I wouldn't even entertain it. Mm -hmm. I would totally skip over it. Like, it's, it's like, like that. Why do y'all It's just, it, I have no comment on even what's going on. I love Instagram. I ain't got no comment. Oh. I, I don't know. I'm gonna just go with the show said. In the beginning, Portia went to the girl house and they was all in the pool smoking hookah and having fun. And now Portia and her husband, Portia and the girl husband, they are now engaged. Yeah. According to Instagram, Portia said her and the girl were never friends. But on the show, her and her sister went to that girl house as her friend. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get the never friends and then you was at a house. I understand they do some stuff for TV though, but once I didn't came in your presence, that's kind of off limits. So if I even if I did have to do it for TV, I never would have went to that husband because I came to your house mm. at the end of the day for TV or not. I still was over there. Yeah. So I don't know if they was really friends or not. So child, you gotta ask Portia. I don't even know. I don't know because it it takes two, and so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. See, okay. I do have my true opinion. Okay? 
I do have I do have my true opinion. I just don't want to share it. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I don't want to do is get on here and bash her. I can tell y'all later if we talk about it. Mm -hmm. But I, I and, okay. and you can only state facts, which yeah. is what you say. Yeah, I only stated what the TV showed and what the thing showed. Yeah. And like I said, I don't know. Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah. I guess. It, it is. Now, that's what it is. Yeah, it's all over Twitter. That, it's all over it, yeah. Instagram. It's all over everywhere. So, I, I don't know. It's a yeah. mess. Yeah. It's just kind of something that we just kind of don't want to wrap up yeah. in. Like, because I don't know. It, and it can be just so tricky and just so... You know what I'm saying? I, like, I just don't... I it just can't, I just don't want to... My name been in it on me. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. But, yeah. But text me. Mm -hmm. I got you. Text me. Because it takes two to tangle at the end of the day. It does. And if it's the way it is, and if somebody consider consider her wrong, he wrong too then. So they both wrong if that's what the story is. So, but the thing about it is that you don't never know. And I have learned this within yeah, it's gonna be this wrong, wrong. next, within this past year or so, that all what you see sometimes you know, somebody, like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Because it's always going to be wrong. I seen wrong. a snippet that said Sheree went to Jamaica with him. Or Africa with him. Sheree and Fallon friend though. The, I don't, that's what I'm telling you. I think, I think black Hollywood is just like Hollywood. They all, to a certain extent, have been in the same circle before. Mm -hmm. They've been around each other before. And I don't know how this works. That, I think that's the only thing that makes it bad. I don't think nothing else would have been, that's the main part about it. Though. Yeah. Is that allegedly her and Portia <laughs> was friends? And that's that the Portia. part that makes it bad, I guess. Because if they wasn't friends, it wouldn't be no problem. I mean, what, mm -hmm. what would be the problem? So, since they, I guess, from Housewives of the they presented themselves, I they guess, as friends. They presented themselves as friends, so that's yeah. what makes it. When, a when it probably really was, she was only filming for the show, and Portia may not have even really liked her like that. I don't know. I'm just saying what she could have did. And then I had seen a picture that Portia posted of her and the girl on her page a while ago, mm -hmm. as if they was cool, like they was on talking terms, they was cordial. So I don't know, but I'm gonna speak for me personally. If I come around you, I shake your hand, I say hey to you. I mean, your presence, any of that, your man is off limits to me. Mm -hmm. And that's just that. But that's my opinion. And I understand her opinion. And I get it. I totally get it. But I'm just learning now that just to be quiet. Because I don't be, I, I be to say my opinion. And yeah. Shut the hole. I ain't going to talk about it. I'm just saying. Camera down. What I think. So. What I would do. I be But hurt. I'm saying that because. I'll I be hurt. Even if I was divorcing him, I'd be hurt. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's a principle. That's what I said. Yeah. But it seems like lately, every time I be trying to take up with somebody, it come back and they be. I'm like, what? Yeah. So you did this because that person. It. You just never know. You all be knowing. That's so what now I said, that's what I would do. But then again, it's TV. People can make it seem like something that it's not. It could be a whole lot of whole lot going on. And then I sure would right. feel bad if I gave my true, true, true opinion about it. And it was some cloud chasing. Like it's fake? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all put it out there. That's what I'm saying. I don't be, you don't know what's real now. Cloud chasing or not. I don't know. But y'all go to Instagram and look it up and find it if you want to. But definitely go back and watch the reunion. Please. Because, honey. Yeah. Oh, y'all, my friend had life on when I tell you she looked fabulous. Oh, Marlo. <laughs> This look fabulous. Yeah, she look cute. And as soon as I go, no more. Whenever I go to Atlanta, I'm going over there and see, because I probably can't purchase any or any other thing out of it, but I'm going to go see it with my eyes. I don't even know what you're talking about. Marlo got a, a, a store that no, you can, I'm oh, Marlo has a I'm store in Atlanta that you can rent, like, outfits to wear, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, honey, I probably can't even afford to rent one of them outfits, but if I go to Atlanta, I'm going to see it. That's all I'm saying. And I will be going to Candy's. And I'm going to the steakhouse too. And if Nene still got her shop, I'm going there too. And if Cynthia still got her, she's going everywhere. I'm going everywhere. Going everywhere. More story. Yeah, that's the more story. But anyway, so that was just our little opinion about the reunion. Mm -hmm. And go yeah. back and watch it if you haven't watched it. Start from the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. But it don't get juicy and messy to Bolo came. Yeah. And then once Bolo came, then it was messy. Then it got tricky. Okay? So. That's it. That's all. Negative people. Tossing. Positive people. Awesome. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to blossom. blossom.